So angle loss phi is pretty simple. So let's say you've been told to sketch the argument of z minus 1 minus 5 and let's make it a bit smaller minus 2i equals to 5 by 6 step 1 is the same you write it in the standard form that's z minus z naught so this would become 1 plus 2i equals to y by 6 so 1 2 3 this should be enough and 1i 2i 3i now first you place your fixed point that's over here right you draw a straight line a dotted line and then from this line you measure the angle pi by 6 that's roughly that's 30 degrees so this should be roughly somewhat here and this should go this can go all the way to infinity so and this angle is pi by 6 and this line is called half line now say if the angle um, was minus pi by 6 so that would have been use the straight line here. this would have looked like this where this argument would have been minus pi by 6 so basically this is uh, the dotted line is your reference point and from this point you um, sketch the angle and we know from previous videos that the principal argument is between uh, minus is from minus pi to uh, plus pi so uh, the questions are not really this straightforward and let's say because we have a cir we have a circle low side the center is 2 plus 3i and the question says to find the possible values of the argument of z minus 4 so if you write this in standard form the point the fixed point here is 4 plus 0i that is this point now to find the possible values of the argument we need to find uh, the highest uh, possible value of the argument of z minus 4 and the lowest possible uh, value of argument for the uh, lowest possible value of the argument right so this means that for the highest possible value or the lowest possible value from the fixed point you need to sketch a tangent now this angle over here is the highest possible value denoted by h and to find this argument we'll have to do a little bit of you can call it query so first we know that uh, what argument this is so let's first sketch this triangle so this is one part of it and this is the other part of it so we know that this is one right and this is a 90 degrees angle because it's a 
tangent to the tangent to the circle we need to find this angle now this distance over here can be calculated using the distance formula uh, where one point is 0 comma 4 the other one is 2 comma 3 sorry 4 comma 0 and this would turn out to be root 13 so to find this angle we can use sine theta equals to 1 upon root 13 so that's one part of it now the other one would be this triangle let's sketch this one as well this side and this side so basically this angle this is 90 this over here is 2 this is 3 to find this angle we can simply do tan inverse of 2 upon 3 and lastly we add pi by 2 or 90 degrees to it and through this we have calculated the smallest possible value of argument of z minus 4 so once you calculate this will turn out to be 2.44 right and now for the smallest possible value so to find the smallest possible value of the argument of z minus 4 you sketch another tangent to the right hand side of the circle basically this one yeah you make it a triangle you make a triangle again a right angle triangle so this hair is 90 this hair is 1 we calculated this as root of 13 and we have to find this angle to this angle we'll add this angle which can be calculated through tan inverse of 2 over 3 because this side and this side so this is 90 this region is 2 and this side is 3 so tan inverse of 3 over 2 yeah tan inverse of 3 over 2 so this entire region this entire angle is going to be tan inverse of 3 over 2 plus sine inverse 1 over root 13 and then you subtract it from pi to get your smallest value of the argument which is following brown this angle so this angle is going to be 1.878 so subtract the angle that you find from pi and you get this answer so the range of possible values for argument of z minus 4 is going to be 1.878 greater than 1.878 and less than 2.440 
sorry for the dirty diagram, but if you uh, uh, watch it closely and if you uh, try to solve it along the way, I'm sure it's going to be easy to understand. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comments below. I hope you understood how to sketch the angle loci and the uh, relative questions regarding it. So this is uh, this is all about the angle loci. In the next video, we'll talk about the, uh, how to sketch the perpendicular bisector loci in complex number.